Hi, this is Allison Waken with Studio Calico, and today I am going to walk you through a start to finish video of a Project Life spread using the February Studio Calico Project Life kit. And today I'm challenging myself um, to use three colors, sort of a three color layout. And I'm going to go through the photos that I had picked out to use. Uh, they are from whale watching, so there's a lot of blues whites and blacks and I'm going to throw some yellow in there. So the neutrals I don't necessarily count as a color but um, so we're going to kind of concentrate on black, white, blue, and yellow. So I guess that's four colors but who's counting? Um, whenever I start with the Project Life layout I shop my kit is what I call it. I go through the kit, pick out the cards, pick out the embellishments that I might use. Now obviously I'm not going to use everything that I pull out um, but I like to limit my supplies. It just helps the process go faster. I always start by laying out my photos and then kind of put the cards in, the empty spaces. Um, the photos to me are the most important. They help tell the story, especially because I don't journal a lot. So once I have those down, I'll start to add the embellishments. Um, I'm already thinking of what I'm going to journal, where it's going to go, and on this spread, I'm not going to do a ton of journaling, just a quick little um, paragraph about the story. And you can see that I'm using the digital um, printables as well. I print those out ahead of time and have them out so that I know what's available um, and can easily just cut out what I need. So for this layout, as I mentioned, I'm just doing a little bit of journaling and I'm going to do digital journaling. And I always do that last just in case I change my mind uh, because I do kind of change my mind as you'll see me switch out photos, switch out cards, um, and I adhere the embellishments once I know for sure that I'm going to use them and keep them on the layout. So here I am switching things around again, um, always making sure uh, I, have a, I have it exactly the way I want it before I adhere anything down. Um, for this layout, as you can see, there's just little pops of yellow. Really, the photos are the majority of the color, and that's how I like to keep it because I do like to let my photos tell the story. So I um, keep the keep the majority of the busyness of my layouts to the photos. So here I used um, this actually 4 by 6 card, trimmed it down to 3 by 4 and printed the journaling in my computer. I just measure the open space um, and print it out on a piece of paper, then tape the card to the paper and print it out again. So here I am just putting the finishing touches on this layout and these are the 9 by 12 sheets uh, available in the Studio Calico shop. And I'm adding my last little bits and pieces, that fantastic I adhered to the top of the page protector. I do that sometimes for depth and interest. And my layout is done. Pretty simple, uh, but it all flows together. And I'll add some extra photos from the trip on the next spread, uh, as well as continuing on with that weekend and that week. I hope this inspired you to challenge yourself a little bit on your Project Life layouts. Visit StudioCalico.com for more inspiration.